Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Lawrence Welk Show, celebrating more than 60 years on television. Now sit back and enjoy the show selected especially for public television. Hi, I'm Johnny Zell here at the mini golf course at the Welk Resort in Branson, Missouri. Every hole is named after a Welk star except number four. So I just named it after me. Welcome to a very special edition of the Lawrence Welk Show. The program you're about to see was our first show of the new season in 1978, and it was a tribute to the big band music that Lawrence loved so much. Fortunately for me, there are plenty of trumpet solos in that type of music, and I was really out front a lot. About halfway through the rehearsal, Lawrence said, what is this, the Johnny Zell Show? We all had a good laugh. Hey, we haven't got time to just stand here and talk. Let's get this show on the road. The opening number is a great one for the trumpet player. And here are some of the beautiful Welk girls to lead the way. From Hollywood, it's the Lawrence Welk Show. And here's your musical maestro, Lawrence Welk. and welcome, friends, to the first show of our 24th television season. And on behalf of all of our musical family and the stations that carry our show, please accept our gratitude for keeping us going all these years. I'll assure you we'll try our very best to bring you another season of good, wholesome entertainment. Now some wonderful memories of the big bands and we'll start with a salute to Harry James, featuring our own great trumpet man, Johnny Sell. A one and two and three. <laughs> And here's a very popular member of our musical family, ladies and gentlemen, Tom Netherton. 
Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And before we go any further, I guess I've got to ask you, do you notice anything different? Yeah, yeah right. I finally got my haircut, right? This is the first time in two years I've seen my ears. I tell you, anyway, I just wanted to let you know it was me, and now I've got a beautiful song for you, and it was a big hit for Frank Sinatra and the Tommy Dorsey Band. I'll never smile again Until I smile at you I'll never laugh again what good would it do? For tears would fill my eyes My heart would realize That our romance is through I'll I'm so in love with you I'll never thrill again To somebody new Pretty girls. Lawrence's good friend, Freddie Martin, has always been known for the fine piano players in his band. And we're very proud and very fortunate to have one of them as a member of our musical family. Here's Bob Ralston with the familiar Martin hit, Kumana. Thank you. 
Wasn't that a great opening segment? I especially enjoyed Tom Netherton and the girls doing that good old Frank Sinatra and Modern Airs arrangement. Tom has been one of my best friends for many, many years. When he first came on the show, we hit it off wonderfully. We often played special concerts together and went to Bible study classes. And then he introduced me to my wife, Laura, who became my wife four years later. And who was my best man? You got it, Tom. Unbeknownst to me, my then-to-be mother-in-law asked him to sing at the wedding, and he did. He sang through the years, and 25 years later, Laura and I still listen to him sing it on a cassette tape. Here are a few bars of it for you, Tom, and thanks for finding Laura for me. bring you memories of Bob Everly and Helen O'Connell, the very popular singing team of the fine Jimmy Dorsey band. Tangerine, she is all they say, with mascara eyes and shackled by their shade. song and a great performance by Guy and Rolla. Latin rhythms played an important part in the big band era. Bobby and Sis, you give you an exciting mambo made so popular by Perez Prado.
I couldn't help but standing on the sidelines here and realizing I must have the best dance couple in the oh. world with me. Thank you so very much. Great to be here. Thank you so much. Now let's see uh, if Kathy Sullivan remembers the big band days. Not really, but I do remember this beautiful song, a hit for Patty Andrews of the Andrews Sisters. Bob, can I have a little intro, please? No matter how near you'll be, you'll never belong to me. But I can dream, can't I? Can't I pretend that I'm locked in the bend of your embrace? For dreams are just like wine, and I with mine I'm aware my heart is a sad affair there's much disillusion there but I can dream We have now been traveling with our own musical family, including our kids, Colette and Nick, for 23 years. Each year we do a new variety show and take it on the road, traveling along the west coast from Los Angeles, California, all the way north to Bellingham, Washington. We have been associated with the RV resorts, Thousand Trails parks, and a few others for years, and we enjoy entertaining the folks who spend the summer months traveling around in their RVs. We usually do our show on Saturday night and then invite everyone back for a Sunday morning church service with music and a message. After lunch, we do another show, and then we're off to our next location. Our audiences are so attuned to big band music, we know they always enjoy our shows, and I'm sure they are enjoying this one as much as I am. On with the show, and here's Artie Shaw's greatest hit, Begin the Begin, featuring Henry Cuesta, a one and two and... <laughs>
tonight some band, Lawrence Welk in the band, and especially Henry Cuesta and Russ Klein. You know, while we're enjoying some big band memories, let's not forget our own boss. His career flourished before, during, and after the heyday of the big bands. Here's a song that was a big hit for Lawrence and his very popular singer, Janie Walton. It's going to be my pleasure to accompany our charming little Mexican senorita, Anacani. <laughs> Tuyo es mi corazón, oh sol de mi querer, mujer de mi ilusión, mi amor te consagré. Mi vida la embellece, una esperanza azul. Mi vida tiene un cielo que le di. Es mi corazón, oh sol de mi querer, tuyo es todo mi ser, tú es mujer, ya todo el corazón te lo entregué, eres mi fe, eres mi sol, eres Lombardo was always one of my special favorites. I'm sure you recognize his distinctive style in this next song. A one and two. <laughs> I'm addicted to your charms. You're getting to be a habit with me. I used to think your love was something that I could take or leave alone. But now I couldn't do without my supply. I need you for my home. Oh, I can't break away. I must have you every day. As regularly as coffee or tea You've got me in your clutches And I can't get free You're getting to be a habit with me Can't break it You're getting to be a habit <laughs> Wasn't that a funny scene? Lawrence trying to help Dick Dale put a little treble in his voice. I don't know how Dick kept from breaking up. Sometimes I try to make my kids Colette and Nick laugh when they're on stage, but they are too smooth to let it happen because they've been working with their mother and me since 1993. They asked to do a number with us that year, and from then on, they were an important part of the show. Colette plays the piano, Nick plays the drums, and they both sing, of course. Colette graduated this year from Westmont College in Santa Barbara, California, with a BA in political science and a minor in business. And she did it in three years instead of four, if you will allow a proud father to brag. <laughs> Nick is a senior in high school this year and is planning to go to a college with a great golf program where he can prepare for being on the PGA Tour. Nick has the same passion for golf that I have for music and he's very good at the game. He's had some terrific golf scores 
and has come in first, second, third, or fourth in all the tournaments he has played in lately. He played the Pebble Beach Golf Links in July, thanks to Valerie Ramsey, their miracle marketing person. She and Pebble Beach treated us so wonderful, wonderful. Nick hasn't stopped talking about it since. I hope his dreams come true and that he has the kind of life that I've had working with someone I admired who gave me the chance to be in the spotlight. Thank you, Lawrence. On with the show and let's hear from the man who has been doing such a great job with our band for over 28 years, our distinguished musical director, George Cates. <laughs> That was Paul Weidman's most famous recording. The Adwell twins and the Aldrich sisters are a little young to remember the big band days, so their song is more in keeping with their own generation. Here they are, the newest products of our training program, the brothers and the sisters. Find my way to some higher ground. But 
keep on getting deeper and there's just one way to go to lay the bag of thought up in your undertow cause i'm deep deep in loving you and i've gotten deeper than i wanted to you'll probably drown me before i'm through but i've gotten me deep in loving you everybody's saying you're not the same kind isn't it like a natural food to think you will this time? But it's too late for changing this feeling down me. I'm standing here with more than just sand on my feet. Cause I'm knee deep in loving you. And I've gotten deeper than I wanted to. It'll probably drown me before I'm through. But I've gotten knee deep in loving you. Well, I'm It'll probably drown me before I'm through But I've gotten me deep in loving you I've gotten me deep in loving you Don't they get a great sound? Yes, our boss really has a knack for finding young and talented people for our show. Now let's wait and see what Arthur Duncan has for us. Art? This being the big band show, I'm happy to find, find out that they found a song that identifies with the big band sound. However, we're going to give this particular song just a little softer treatment. The Sheik of Araby. <laughs> Way back in 1978, when this show was first broadcast, very few of us had ever used a computer. It would be over 20 years before I got my hands on one, but when I did, there was no going back. I just love learning about how computers and software work, and I've studied Microsoft now for 10 years, and I use all of their software. If it wasn't for the computer world, I don't think I would still be in the field of music. I have been at the forefront and have learned to use all the latest musical software and hardware. When I create my CDs, I always do my preliminary work with a PC and then sweeten it up with live trumpet. I also teach kids of all ages to play the trumpet and encourage them to learn musical theory. I make sure all my students have a running knowledge of the computer along with taking music lessons from me. I also have a business called Cyber Lessons trumpet lessons over the internet using microphones and webcams. The students contact me at Giselle.com and we get to know one another using the internet. I now have 10 complete lessons and it's a new and exciting way to teach. Here are two lovely people who taught everyone on the Lawrence Welk Show how to live and work. Norma Zimmer and Jim Roberts. So 
soft as the voice of an angel breathing a lesson unheard hope with a gentle persuasion whispers her Sunshine tomorrow after the shower is gone. Whispering, whispering, oh, how well I love my at midnight by the great Will Bradley band has just about the best dance beat I've ever heard in my lifetime. Let's see if our boys can capture this perfect beat. Gentlemen, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> was a great big hit for my good friend Les Brown and his young singer Doris Day. Right now we'll hear Sandy Gale and Mary Lou. Gonna 
take a sentimental journey gonna set my heart at ease gonna make a sentimental journey to renew all memories got my bags I got my reservation spend each dime I could Sandy Gale and Mary Lou. Great job, girls. Hi, my name is Ken Delo, and right now I want to recall a famous recording by Ted Weems and his orchestra that featured a chorus of whistling. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to skip the whistling and just stick to the singing. So, George, if you please. Heartaches, heartaches, my loving you meant only heartaches. Your kiss was such a sacred thing to me. I can't believe it's just a burning memory. Heartaches, oh heartaches, what does it do me? How my heart breaks. I should be someone with someone new, but my heart aches for you. I'm gonna sneak in here. What does it? How are you? How are you, honey? My heart breaks. I should be happy with someone new, but my heart aches for you. Yes, my heart aches for you. My new CD is called Play That Trumpet. Here's a song I think you'll like. It's called Hot Lips.
Here's a song that was made very popular by Rudy Valley. Bob Ballard conducts our Clee Club with the Joe Feeney in the Solar Spot. Gentlemen, we've played just about every kind of music this evening. With your permission, we'd like to play one of my favorite Dixieland tunes titled Panama, which has a big recording for Ray Anthony, I should say, which was a big recording for Ray Anthony. Gentlemen, are you ready? A one, two, three. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. 
What a great show, even if I do say so myself. Everything I learned about show business, I learned from Lawrence Welk, and I have been able to pass that musical legacy onto my children. They know things about performing that can only be learned on a weekly television show with all the self-discipline that a schedule like that requires. I hope you enjoyed our show, and I'm sure you'll want to come back next week for another hour of great musical entertainment. Mark your calendar, and don't forget to keep your computer humming. So, here I am at the Johnny Zell hole, and I'm gonna try for a hole in one. Here we go. This is Rolna English. We recently lost one of the dearest of our musical family, Henry Cuesta. Henry was not only one of the finest musicians around, but he was also a dear friend to so many of us. He'll be greatly missed, but what a blessing to be able to enjoy his music, which will live on forever. You've seen their classical crossover talents on KCPT. Now join Il Devo for a night of musical wonder in downtown Kansas City.